Of all the mainstream WWE video games to bear the WrestleMania name, WrestleMania Breakthrough is a rather peculiar title due to its somewhat low-key release. This in itself is odd because whenever there's a new video game coming out, WWE likes to promote the hell out of it almost to a sickening degree, especially when it features a wrestling legend as a playable character. Sometimes they'll even go so far as to book a dream match featuring said legend to take place at the showcase of the Immortals and the grandest stage of them all, even if the match itself ends up being the drizzling shits. But this rather small game went under the radar and largely unnoticed by wrestling fans, avid gamers, and the WWE universe as a whole. And after managing to snag a prototype copy through questionable means and playing this game for a bit, it's not hard to see why. Released in 2016 by Acclaim Entertainment and THQ in a rare joint venture, WrestleMania Breakthrough is a paddle game similar in vain to games such as Breakout or Arkanoid. In WrestleMania Breakthrough, you take control of a WWE-branded paddle bearing the disembodied heads of Chairman and CEO Vince McMahon, an executive producer, the Bucky Beaver motherfucker himself, Kevin Dunn, and your goal is to bounce around the head of Roman Reigns into other floating heads representing various WWE superstars such as Dean Ambrose, AJ Styles, and others to name a few, all the while keeping Roman from falling into the pit below. As you ram Roman Reigns into other heads, this strength meter on the bottom builds up bit by bit. See, the idea of the game is to make Roman look really strong, and the bigger the meter, the stronger Roman gets. And when the meter becomes completely filled, nothing happens. In fact, nothing of note happens in the game beyond the occasional big boss head appearing every so often that takes multiple hits to kill and are worth big points. The only other event of note that happens is that whenever Roman falls into the pit, he loses a significant portion of his strength meter, and if the meter empties, the game ends. Now, it's fairly simple to regain strength if Roman hits multiple heads between paddle catches, and this also results in big points, but the ball physics are so out of whack here and so random that it's difficult to formulate any sort of winning strategy. It's all a matter of chance more than anything. Also, I gotta say, looking at this game, the graphics in WrestleMania Breakthrough are kinda bland. It's just this gray backdrop with lots of floating gifs that don't seem to have been cropped all that well. Also, I could be wrong, but these sound effects and that musical piece sounds awfully familiar, almost as if I've heard it somewhere before. Overall, WrestleMania Breakthrough is not worth your time or money. It aims to be a solid breakout clone of a different variety of sorts, but is nowhere near as enjoyable or rewarding as a competent clone of Breakout would be. After spending well over 50 hours playing this game, it's easy to see why WWE never bothered to promote this game like they would their recent titles. Also, 